Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it, ready to have some fun. So today we're going to dive into some of my favorite non-allocated whiskey. Yes, folks, there is fantastic whiskey out there. And guess what? It's non-allocated. You can actually do like this foreign concept of walking to a store. You don't need to know the manager's name. You don't actually even have to build a relationship. You truly can just old-fashioned walk in, grab the bottle, pay for it, walk out. I know it's a foreign concept, especially in this day and age with whiskey. But again, I'm gonna give you some of my favorite non-allocated whiskey. And at the end, why not go ahead and uh, add a little asterisk. Cool? All right. So these are not in order, just, you know, ones that I really enjoy a lot. And um, so let's dive into why I enjoy them, the price point, and then also, again, all these are pretty much, for the most part, uh, available. All right, so what I'm sipping right now, coming in the number one spot, again, Wild Turkey 101. When you think about just, like, just great value from a value perspective, I don't think you can get anything better than Wild Turkey 101. 23, 24, maybe with tax, 25 bucks. The cool thing about Wild Turkey 101 is that number one, it comes from a fantastic distillery in Kentucky, Wild Turkey. But the, the best thing about it, in my opinion, other than the price point, is that you can walk into, I think, almost every liquor store and find Wild Turkey 101. That by itself is just amazing, especially in this day and age. Wild Turkey 101. Fantastic. So that's number one. All right. In the number two spot, we have two different ones. I guess a tie because they're from the same distillery. So this is the Barstown Origin Series. We got the bottled and bond, the black label, and then we have the uh, the bourbon, but this is the high rye bourbon in the mash bill, the white label. So these two coming together in the number two spot. You know, so the Origin Series, I would say, it, gosh, Barstown Bourbon Company, they are just doing a fantastic job in general. I mean, we all love the Discovery Series, but now they have like their truly their own juice. These two are both amazing. Also, in that sub $50 range, uh, I, I think I got these both for like 40, 42 and 45. Some places might be up to like $50, but for the most part, this is like truly their new standard release. It won't be highly allocated, it'll just be sitting on shelves going forward. And I love that. So, hey, both of these are great. If I had to pick between the two, I probably would go for the bottom and bond, the black label, but both of them are absolutely amazing, especially at that sub $50 price range. All right. That's Bur Barstown Bourbon Company, the Origin Series, in the number two spot. Coming in the number three spot, let's go to Heaven Hill. Let's go ahead with uh, a little rye whiskey. Why not, right? So this is uh, Pikesville, straight rye, rye whiskey. Gotta love Pikesville. I mean, a $50 bottle. This is a bourbon drinker's rye whiskey. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that again. This is a bourbon drinker's rye whiskey. Why is that, Judge? It's because it has a high corn in the, in the mash bill. So, you know, it is technically a rye, but it sips very, I mean, very close to a bourbon. Again, age at least six years. Pikesville, for the most part, you can find it in the majority of mark, key markets. And at $50, if you're looking to make the switch to try and rye whiskey, you have to start with Pikesville. All right, that's number three spot. Good old Pikesville. All right. Coming in the number four spot. Now this is probably the only whiskey that can almost challenge Wild Turkey 101 from a price standpoint, but definitely does from a quality standpoint as well. So the number four spot, we have Cooper's Craft. Oh man, 100 proof, coming from the Brown Foreman family. Cooper's Craft is absolutely fantastic whiskey, especially this version, right? The 100 proof one. Um, 30 to $35, just kind of depending on where it is, it sits on, typically on shelves all over. And again, in the majority of markets, if it's not in your market, it has to be in the market right next door, in the state next door. I, I found Cooper's Craft all over. Absolutely amazing quality whiskey. Again, coming from Brown Foreman, which is a huge reputable distillery as well. So that's the number four spot. All right, number five, Whew, man. This whiskey, it, it holds a special place in my heart because this is one of the most recent barrel picks I did for one of my local shops. But even take away that, I've had other versions of either standard store picks or just regular, uh, the versions that sits on the shelf as well. Coming in about $50, always capped at 120 proof. This is Ezra Brooks Cast Strength. So I will say what I love about this is that even though this is a Luxro product, as many of us know, a lot of this whiskey, especially like the older luxury products, the whiskey actually came from Heaven Hill. So, for example, the barrel pick I did, I have the barrel upstairs, and the barrel even says 
Heaven Hill Distillery on it. So, I mean, you're getting great quality whiskey. Um, again, coming from Luxro, but obviously in conjunction with Heaven Hill. Great quality whiskey coming in at 120 proof for $50. And for the most part, folks, I mean, it just sits on shelves. Is it, If this even had the Heaven Hill label on it, it would be just flying off shelves. But, hey, more for me and maybe more for you. $50 bottle, number five spot. All right, before we get to the last two plus the asterisk, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are some of your favorite non-allocated whiskeys that you could just go grab from a shelf and go home and call it a day. And last but not least, please make sure you also hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right, here we go. Cheers. Mm. Woo! Wild Turkey 101 never disappoints. All right, coming in the number six spot. Got to give some love to, uh, let's call it some Tennessee whiskey, right? <laughs> Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Whiskey. At $60 to $65, this holds a special place in my heart. By far, one of the best cast strength whiskeys out there on the market, day in, day out. I love this not only for the fact of the quality of the whiskey, I also love the fact that it just literally sits on shelves. You can find this almost all over in almost every every state as well, which is pretty cool too. And even online, Jack Daniels, uh, the Barrel Proof, absolutely amazing. I don't think I've ever had a bad bottle of the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. Always amazing. You know what you're getting each and every single time. All right, number seven. Lucky number seven. I have to go with... Uh, one of my favorite craft distilleries out there, literally one of my favorite, this is Woodenville. So I would say Woodenville, the small batch, about a $45 bottle. They're typically in about 30 different markets right now. So you can typically find Woodenville almost you know, across the US for the most part. Now this one in particular is actually my uh, my, my barrel pick that I did uh, with Keg and Bottle. A few bottles left, and I'm talking about single digits that are left over at Keg and Bottle. So if you're interested in grabbing my, uh, it's called the uh, Spicy Bee's Knees, um, the Woodenville pick, definitely check out Keg and Bottle. And hell, you can go ahead and even uh, grab some uh, mini glens as well. Check out the, uh, the description in the uh, today's episode if you're interested in some of these mini glens. But I will say, this Woodenville, even the small batch at 45, 50 bucks, absolutely great whiskey coming from a fantastic distillery out in the state of Washington. Please keep doing what you're doing, Woodenville, because uh, let's just say, this holds a special place in my heart. All right, those are the seven. Um, now we're gonna get to the asterisk. So why is this one the asterisk? A couple things. So their standard bourbon and rye are about 45, 50 bucks, and they're great. I've become a big fan of this distillery in the last probably like six to nine months. But this version, which is a little bit more expensive, is slightly harder to find, but still not allocated. I love this whiskey, hence the reason why it made the asterisk spot because it is slightly harder to find and it's a little bit above $50, it's about 65, maybe even 70. But this is New Riff, the malted rye whiskey, aged six years. This bottle, one of my patrons, my buddy Nick Massey put me onto it. I will say, <laughs> I love, love, and I mean, I flat out love this New Riff bottle. But I, like I said, I've had other New Riff bottles, even the standard stuff, at 45, 50 bucks. Even that is amazing. And this is just straight up fantastic. Make sure, folks, if you see any of these, stop, ch stop chasing and hunting all that allocated stuff. Grab any one of these, and I guarantee you will be very, very happy. Until the next time, my friends. Peace, cheers, and most important, salute. See ya.